an object whose weight is 100 newtons is suspended at the end of a wire that's connected to the ceiling. There is a, a second wire attached to the side wall that is pulling to the left on that object. The object is at rest. Therefore, it's not accelerating in any direction. And therefore, the sum of the forces along the x-axis is zero, and the sum of the forces along the y-axis is zero. Those two conditions, that the sum of the components is zero along the x-axis and along the y-axis, will give us the two equations we need to solve for two unknowns. Those unknowns being the tension in that wire, call it B, and the tension in the side wire, call it A. The total force acting on that object, symbolized as F, is the sum of the three vectors A, B, and C. That sum is zero. Because the object is not accelerating, the net force is zero. Well, if any vector is zero, then its x component is zero, and its y component is zero as well. From this statement here, that the x component of the total force is zero, we have the fact that a sub x plus b sub x plus c sub x is zero. Now, the x component of the a vector is the full value of a with a negative sign. It's the full value of A because no part of the A vector is above the x-axis. No part of it points along the y-axis. And so the negative sign indicates that the vector points to the left. The x component of the B vector is the magnitude or the value of B times the cosine of 60. The C vector has a zero x component. Zero. That's the first of the two equations we need to solve for A and B. The second equation comes from insisting that the sum of the three, F, three Y components is zero. A sub Y plus B sub Y plus C sub Y equals zero. Well, the y component of A is zero. No part of it points along the y-axis, as we said earlier. The y component of B is B times the sine of 60. And the y component of the C vector, the weight vector, is the full value of it, but it points in a negative direction. And so it's a negative 100. Solving this equation for B and substituting this value of B here into this first equation, repeated here, we get the value of A is 57.74 newtons.